Hello, I'm Mary Director and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. I have a blog, it's www.createscards.com and I have an official Stamping Up website if you'd like to purchase Stamping Up products from me. The Stamping Up website is marydirector.stampingup.net. I'll bring this back at the end of the video and also the two links will be in the comment sections of my YouTube channel. Today I want to show you two techniques and the techniques can be a little messy that I'm going to show so I recommend if you have jewelry, um, you know your rings or that, take them off just in case. Um, I did find that it, I got quite a bit of ink around <laughs> so um, I took off wedding rings and stuff today um, just in case. What I want to show you is first is going to be a painter's tape technique which created this two-tone background on this card. The other technique that I want to show you is using an acrylic block as your stamp and it creates the background. Really nice techniques. Um, great way to combine colors and um, to change the look. Create your own background paper. I'm using cardstock that's three and a half by four and a half inches. You can use any size you want but I like to be able to layer it and so this is my centerpiece for the layering. Some of them, this is a full card front that I did. This one was just a more little narrow, a little more narrow. So any size again works. I'll show you the painter's tape one first. It just uses regular painter's tape that you can buy in any store. It's blue. It comes in different widths. The wide one works fine. I'm also using Stamping Up inks, Raspberry Ripple, and Marina Mist. You just go ahead and you open up your inks. And what I recommend is using painter's tape that is wider than the piece of paper you're using um, for the background. And it doesn't have to be straight edges. You can just rip it off. You want to make sure it's a little wider than what your background paper is. We're going to put it on the ink and then just gently rub your finger across. You don't want to do it a, a great um, with a lot of pressure because you want um, the differences to show with the highs and lows, the light and the dark with your card. And so you want that texture look to come through. Okay, you're going to then just pick it straight up. You will from the back see that there's some lines. If you put that line over your background, it will show on the background. So I try to just off-center it. That's one of the reasons too to make this a little bit smaller than um, in width than what the uh, width of your stamp pad is. Now I'm going to do the next color, same thing. And this is where it can get messy here, is that when you're putting your finger here, there's a chance you'll get ink on your fingers. If you wash it right away with soap and water, it works fine, it will come off. Also with our stamping mist that we have. Now, I'm lining them up, you don't have to line them up. You can do it however um, you want. You may just want an offset of color, you may want the whole thing colored in. Um, another thing I found is to use this at do this on wax paper because the painter's tape can stick to the paper and with the um, wax paper underneath it will not stick. Okay, let me close these up. It's still hot here in Arizona so I have a ceiling fan on and also um, the air conditioning so these can dry out a little bit quicker. Again, because I did this right in my grid paper, it is gonna stick just a little bit. It's just painter's tape, so it'll come off. It's not a big deal. Just takes a little patience. <laughs> okay, let me get a trash bin here. You wanna have um, a trash container of some type handy because this is, you know, can be messy. 
Now I'm just going to gently pull this off. It's going to take a minute. But the ink that's on the back of the painter's tape is still wet. So put it right away in your trash bin. I think you're really going to like this. Um, again, because we're having to put a little bit of pressure, you may get some ink on your fingers from holding it down. You can see on this, some of the cardstock came up. See the white here? That's okay. It still looks fine below. A lot depends on how much pressure you do. Um, when you put it down, I may have put a little bit too much pressure. I'm going to turn this one around. Oop. Oh, this one I used way too much. This one I absolutely, you know, actually got. Um, as you can see, some of the cardstock came up. So let's see if we can fix it. This is the um, the Raspberry Ripple. Let's open this up. Let's put some more ink on here. So we have ink on the back. Come back over here. Line it up. Oh, perfect. See? Fixable. And if it wasn't fixable, remember, it's only paper. Start over. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you know. Um, and it just shows, too, I'm human. I make mistakes. Okay. So here's the background using the three tones. I could have done the painter's tape this way. Um, however you want to place it, or even if you just want to do small dabs, like I did to do the correction here, you could do that also. So however you want the look to be. So this is using the painter's tape. Let me show you some of the cards. Here's a card that I did with the painter's tape using the same colors for the background. I used some retired um, ribbon that I had. I stamped it with a Christmas tree um, stamp that I had. It is a Stamping Up one. Um, part of Lovely is a Tree. This is Odd Brand. Then I put some candy dots from Stamping Up as the Christmas tree decoration. The next one I did um, was a Jewish card for Hanukkah with, called Shalom. And with this one, I went ahead and did the background, then put some of our metallic cardstock on the bottom. It's silver. Hanukkah colors are blue and silver. And then I stamped the Shalom stamp over the top. Now, I like the look of that one, but I wanted it to pop a little bit more. This is what the stamp looks like on white paper, white cardstock. So what I did on my next card is I stamped it on, on the card itself on the background. Then I did the center and I just cut out the word Shalom. I don't know if you can see this, but I put it on um, dimensionals so that it, now it pops up. Same design, same process, just a little different on the center stamp. Then I wanted it to even pop more so now what I did is I stamped the Shalom on the background itself, then I stamped it on white cardstock, cut it out, and put it on dimensional. So it's three-dimensional there. And here's to show you. Okay. So just to give you some ideas on what you can do to create all different looks. Use up some of the cardstock you have. Use um, inks that you have on hand. I'm trying to do more and more of using um, some of my things that are retired because like many of you, I have quite a bit of stock in, on hand. 
So I love the new items and I'm constantly buying new items, but I also like to use up what I have. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do this technique, which I call the acrylic block stamp. And it's just a great way to create your own cardstock and with a um, unique look to it. We're gonna again use Raspberry Ripple and Marina Mist. You could use any color you wanted. I'm using the Stamping Up Size C blocks. I happen to have two of them. These ones I have the grids on it, so I wanna make sure that I'm not putting the ink on the grid side because that's vinyl, the ink won't, uh, won't work the way I want. Um, this one's just the block as it comes from Stamping Up. Both of them are Stamping Up blocks though. So I have my ink open. I'm gonna use one block for the blue and one block for the uh, raspberry color. Okay. All you do is stamp on your pad and see how it colors and then stamp here. And you can alternate colors as you go along or you can just do one color and then come back and do the other. It sh I'll show you, see how you get all the different texture here, all the different look? I just think it looks wonderful. It's just a, like I said, a great way to create your own paper. Okay, the blue. And you can go right over the other colors. If you do this on our glossy paper, the ink will not dry quickly on it. So please be careful. It actually will re kind of like repel the color. Okay. And if I wanted to add a little more color in, I could do that. It's totally up to you. Just do as little or as much as you want. It's still wet. <laughs> okay, so there we go. And then again, this is how I made the background for this one. This is how I made the layered background for this one. So this I'm gonna call the acrylic block stamp technique. And the other one was the um, painter's tape. Again, it's just a piece of paper. If you want it, you could just do, use any size block, so if you wanted to use a bigger block, you could. So if all I wanted was to do like that, and then stamp around it, I could. If I wanted to just create some corners, I could do that like a picture frame. And always work with paper underneath, because as you can see, this is messy. There we go, kind of a picture frame. But you can keep, continue to fill in as you want. Um, just a reminder, when you go to clean it on your acrylic blocks, the, um, the ink will come off. If you do it right away, the ink will come off with water. You could use soap and water. If you've had it on here a little bit, use some of the stamping mist. If there's an area you want to go back over, just come back in with your block, add a little more ink. So again, here is painter's tape technique. Here is our acrylic block technique. And so these are the two that I've shown you in today's video. Thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, please um, leave them here in the comments section. Otherwise, you can come over to my blog and leave a, video, um, leave a comment there also. My blog is www.createscards.com and my Stamping Up website is marydirector.stampingup.net. Thank you so much.